Five months ago, I did my first knife video. In that video, I waxed poetic about how the SOG Ultra XR knife was the perfect everyday carry knife for someone like myself who hated carrying knives. I guess SOG liked my video because they reached out to me again and wanted to send me their Kiku XR Blackout knife to try. Clearly they watched the video on mute because I clearly said I like my knives to be minimal and lightweight. The Kiku XR knife is anything but minimal and lightweight. But I was getting ready to take Buck Doyle's low light carving course in the mountains of New Mexico and I figured that would be a good environment to not really test the knife but to just live with it in that environment. Come to think of it, that's exactly what a test is, but I digress. Like I said before, I'm not really disciplined about carrying a knife and I don't really pay that much attention to them, but the SOG Kiku XR changed that for me. And here's why. I wish I could give a highly technical review about this knife, but I don't know that much about knives to do that. I just know what I like and what I don't. And I really like this knife. I'll be honest. If I saw the Kiku XR laying in the dirt, I think it was a fossil before I thought it was a knife. The handle looks like SOG raided a dinosaur museum and turned the shells of the sea turtle exhibit into a knife. I'm not usually a fan of this type of prehistoric aesthetic, but in the case of the Kiku XR, it actually works. The shapes and lines of the handle subtly call out to you. Hold me, grab me, touch me, squeeze me. Even the blade has a visually appealing shape to it but it's the compound grind lines on the blade that make it look really sexy. The blade is made of CTS XHP steel, which means the blade has a high hardness, highly effective at resisting corrosion, and will hold its edge. I haven't used it enough to see any deterioration on the edge, but I've used this knife more than any of my other knives, so I'm sure I'll learn how well it maintains its edge. That being said, every person I've shown this knife to comments on how good it looks. Even people who aren't even in the knives. There's an elegant ruggedness about this knife that allows it to play double duty as a dedicated outdoor knife and an everyday carry city knife of sorts. It's not a small knife by any stretch of the imagination. It's more of a Goldilocks knife. Small enough to carry every day, but big enough to handle the rigors of the wild. At least what I consider wild. It's just right. For a knife of this size, the ergonomics are great. The texture and the shape of the knife allowed me to get a really good confident grip on the knife where it almost feels like it's a full size knife. This makes cutting, slashing, stabbing, and slicing a cakewalk for a knife this size. I thought the way that the Ultra XR opened and closed was satisfying. That knife feels like sandpaper compared to how smooth the Kiku opens and closes. However, the thumb hole leaves a little to be desired. It's passable, but it's not as fluid using it versus using the XR lock and the kick push assist. I'm also not a fan of the clip. Functionally, it works great, but I'm not a fan of the looks. I think it cheapens the look of the knife ever so slightly. It's by no means a deal breaker for me, but I can't help but think there's a better option for a clip that has the same functional quality while having a better form. Other than that, this knife has grown on me like that one night stand that turned into your wife or husband. It's definitely heavier than the Ultra XR, but in the real world, I really don't notice its weight. It's more robust than it is heavy, and the profile of the knife doesn't take up too much space in my pocket. I still prefer to carry the Ultra XR on a daily basis, but once I leave the confines of the city and go into nature, the Kiku XR as it stands right now will be my go-to knife. Like I said, I'm not a knife guy, and I've had other knives, and I have other knives that I like, but they're more form than function. The Kiku XR, on the other hand, marries the two in such a way that it caused me to develop an appreciation for knives in a manner that I never thought I would. SOG, or SOG as I like to call it, sent me the Kiku XR in two colors, black and white. I prefer the black version, but for those wondering what the white version looks like, I put a direct link to the white and black version of this knife in the description section of this video. And I know a lot of you knife aficionados out there will have a ton to say about this knife. So I look forward to seeing your thoughts in the comment section. Today, there was another growing gun confiscation request in all 50 of our states requesting to confiscate our AR-15s. We want the government to know what would happen if they tyrannically passed their so-called assault weapons ban. I will not comply is a symbolization of defiance against politicians, 
anti-gunners, and any other tyrannical entity looking to deprive you or your Second Amendment right as put forth in the Constitution of the United States. All right, now we have the performance mask at shop.mrcolonnoir.com. And no, these aren't the masks that suffocate you to death. You can breathe in this mask. Um, it's lightweight material, very high quality. You know, you know how I do. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button. If you're looking for where to purchase your Defund Gun Control shirts, hats, and drinkware, there's a link in the description section of this video.